When you hear the words artificial implantable heart pump, you probably think major surgery in a very large device. But new technology means a heart pump about the size of a soda straw. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez is here to show us how the world's smallest heart pump is saving lives. Doctor. Yeah, that's right, Maurice. You know, when you sprain or tear a muscle, the doctor usually tells you to stay off it and rest it. But you can't rest your heart muscle after a heart attack. Or can you? With a pump so tiny it can be threaded into your heart through your veins. Looking at 54 year old Daniel Kim, you'd never think heart patient, normal weight and blood pressure, went to the gym. Well, three times a week. Yeah, so if weight was normal, I can I pretty much watch out, you know, what I'm eating. But just two months ago, Daniel wasn't feeling right. No chest pain, but still he went to the ER and promptly collapsed with a massive heart attack. After that, I don't remember anything. Daniel needed an emergency coronary artery stent, an extremely risky procedure for a patient having a heart attack. Their heart muscle is failing. They have pump failure. They are short of breath. They can't breathe. Their oxygen levels are low. And we are going to attempt to open a closed vessel. That in and of itself is very risky. What allowed Daniel's procedure to be done safely is a tiny heart pump called Impella. Despite their size, each can pump nearly a gallon of blood per minute, enough to turn a beaker of water into a fountain. Dr. Vladimir Zinomensky used the Impella to protect Daniel's heart during the stenting procedure and then left it in for two days. Because it allows for really resting the heart and recovering the myocardium, allowing for better output and really recovering the heart. The different pump models can be put in minimally invasively through arteries or veins to support either ventricle. Once in the heart, the impella draws blood from the ventricle and pumps it to the lungs or body with a tiny corkscrew, spinning it up to 50,000 RPM. Daniel doesn't remember any of that, only that. Right now, I'm really good. Now, the idea behind leaving the pump in for days in a heart shock patient is to give the heart a rest, allowing natural healing to take place. The device lets doctors treat and save some of the very sickest heart patients, some that otherwise would really have not a lot of options. That's, That's phenomenal. Amazing. amazing. 50,000 RPM, that little thing is, is spinning around. Wow. Pretty amazing. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Max. You